Understanding the password hygiene in Active Directory is pertinent to ensuring it is secure. Identifying which user accounts are misconfigured, leaving them susceptible to brute force attacks, or which accounts are leveraging passwords commonly found in breach dictionaries is a very important step to take in protecting your organization's Active Directory environment. Today, I'm going to show you the Stealth Audit for Active Directory weak password job, which has the capability to identify user accounts that have a weak password, shared password between other user accounts in the environment, and various configurations that can leave an account susceptible to being breached. Here you can see Stealth Audit version 10. Let's navigate to the weak password job and configure it to our liking. Inside the Active Directory set, you're going to want to click on the 2.users group, scroll down to the bottom, and click on the 80 weak passwords job. From here, we'll want to click on Configure, and then Queries. As you can see, the password security data collector is used for the weak passwords job collection. Let's click on the Query Properties and Configure to open the password security data collector wizard. We can now press the Next button to get to the Options page. On this page, there are some various settings we can configure for the password security data collector. The first option you can see is being able to encrypt the communications with Active Directory over SSL. The next option, which is enabled by default, is to analyze historical passwords that Active Directory stores for each user account in the environment. And the third option would be to return clear text passwords when possible for certain exceptions. This option will return clear text passwords to the Stealth Auto database and should only be used for troubleshooting purposes. Now that we've gone over all the options on this page, let's press the next button and go to the dictionaries page. The weak password job by default will download and utilize a dictionary curated by StealthBits, comprised of hashes for commonly breached passwords found on the internet. Not only can you leverage the dictionary that StealthBits curates, but you can add a custom dictionary of plain text passwords your organization does not want users to be using. Besides a custom dictionary you or your organization curates, you can use a dictionary comprised of sorted NTLM hashes, such as the one found on the popular website Have It Been Pwned. Adding a custom dictionary is easy using the data collector query interface in Stealth Audit. On the dictionaries page here, all you have to do is press the add button, navigate to the custom dictionary that you've curated, and press open. You can now see in the user interface that we added the dictionary that I've selected, and we actually identified that there were three passwords in plain text stored within that dictionary file. Now that we've added any custom dictionaries to the job that we want to be leveraging during scan time, we can press next, next, finish, and then OK to save the changes we made to the configuration. Now that the job is configured to your liking, leverage a connection profile with the documented permissions required and target a domain controller from each domain in your environment and run the job. Once the job completes, a report will be generated that contains all the password exceptions found within your organization's Active Directory environment. If we go to the Stealth Audit Report Index, we can navigate to the Active Directory Solution, the Users Group, and scroll down the bottom to find the Weak Password Checks Report. This is the weak passwords report. You can see above, like most reports in Stealth Audit, we have summary information highlighting common exceptions for the password vulnerabilities we found throughout your organization. Some of the most notable ones being weak passwords, shared common passwords, passwords that never expire, and empty passwords. If we scroll down to the details table below, we can dive deeper to each exception which is enumerated to understand which accounts were found to have that exception throughout the organization. Looking at the details table, you can see that the columns available to us are the domain, the host we targeted, the exception that was found, the same account name of the account, and some various information about that account, such as their last logon, their password age, if they're disabled, if the password's expired, if they have any shared passwords, and if the account is an administrative account. This exception here is the clear text password exception. This exception identifies accounts that are being stored in Active Directory with reversible encryption. An attacker getting a hold of this account would be able to easily brute force the password and get into the account with the clear text password. Another exception that we have is the shares common password exception. This exception identifies accounts that are sharing the same password throughout the environment. This is determined by comparing the password hash of one account with all the other accounts inside of Active Directory. Sharing common passwords between administrative accounts and non-administrative accounts is a bad practice that most organizations would definitely try to avoid. The last exception that I want to cover is the weak password exception. Relatively self-explanatory, this exception identifies user accounts in the environment that are leveraging a weak password. A weak password is determined based on if it was found inside of one of the dictionaries used to scan with the password security data collector. This means that an attacker using a dictionary brute force attack may be able to gain access to the account if using a similar dictionary that was used for the job. Thanks for listening to the high-level overview of the Stealth Audit for Active Directory weak password job. Be sure to run this in your environment and understand where your exceptions may exist to further secure your Active Directory environment.